Shopify SEO tutorial. Hey everyone, in this Shopify tutorial, I will show you how you can optimize your Shopify store with the use of SEO to help boost your sales. Now, this video is really for everyone. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced store owner, I'm sure you'll pick up some useful and actionable strategies to enhance your store's visibility and gain more targeted traffic. Now, before we begin, I just wanted you guys to know that if you want to create an account while watching this tutorial, check out the description down below to find a link that will bring you to Shopify's website where you can sign up. With my link, you can get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on Shopify for the first month. It's honestly the craziest deal and there's no other deal like it. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, let's get started with the tutorial. Now, why is SEO so important? Well, the importance of using SEO increases your store visibility. So search engines will actually show your store. By using these strategies, increasing the chances that your store will be seen by more potential customers. As a result, it will boost your sales and who wouldn't want that for their own store. Now, to get started with increasing the SEO of your Shopify store, you can use a tool like the Google Keyword Planner, SEMrush, Ahrefs to find keywords that have a balance of search volume and competition. You can use these free tools. They mostly have a free keyword explorer that can help you in entering your niche. From there, you can include the relevant keywords in your product titles, descriptions, URLs, and meta. These elements will appear in users' search engine results and help the users click your URL and boost your product. Also, make sure the keywords are accurately describing your content. So this means avoiding generic manufacturer provided descriptions for your product. If I was to show you guys an example, if I go ahead and take this product over here, which is our Bodylicious dress. So instead of writing these specifications like this, I can go into a free keyword explorer like SEMrush, or you can use the Google Keyword Planner. So for example, let's take our Bodycon Bodylicious dress over here. To find some accurate keywords, you can go on to SEMrush or the Google Keyword Planner and search for a key term, such as dress. Over here, you will see the level of keyword difficulty and you will see the global volume for this particular keyword. You will also see some suggested keyword ideas, variations, and questions that you can use instead of adding the generic word into your product title, description, and SEO. Now, from here, you can include the relevant keywords in your product titles, descriptions, URL, and meta. Add unique and detailed descriptions that really highlight your product's key features and benefits. Now, when you're adding images, make sure to optimize those as well. Change the alt text and file names to the corresponding keywords. Alt text provides a textual description of the images, which provide the accessibility and relevance of your website or product. So use descriptive keywords in both your alt text and file names. Now, no one wants a website that takes forever to load. So this is where page load speed comes in handy. It's an important factor for both user experience and SEO. You can optimize your store speed by compressing images using a content delivery network, minifying CSS and JavaScript files, and using caching techniques. A faster page load speed means better user experience and higher chances of ranking high in search results. Lastly, ad additionally, store blogs and content marketing are a major part of building your store's SEO. Backlink links and external links that open to your website are also important. So make sure you build high quality backlinks from reputable websites. This can be achieved through a different mode of content creation, such as blogging, influencer collaboration, or even reaching out to reputable websites for opportunity. This means that your website is trustworthy. Another thing is to produce content like a blog, posts, articles, guides, videos that could be related to your products. This further boosts the trustability of your website and can help improving in your SEO. Now, lastly, you should also consider your mobile users and think of maybe building a mobile user application. So if you are building your Shopify store, consider mobile users. This means that you ensure that your website is responsive for mobile users and works smoothly. Besides the overall user experience, an improved mobile layout also grants you higher chances of ranking high in search results. Now, SEO is always an ongoing process. It's not a one step item that you can fix one day and once you fix it today it will remain the same forever. 
to monitor your performance on your SEO on your Shopify store, enter your Shopify store, click on analytics on the left, and then you will be able to see the overall SEO that your current website has. You can adjust your strategy based on the data you gather, and you can stay updated with the best SEO practices and tool. I've personally been using Shopify for years now, and I've also tried a couple of other e-commerce stores, but I really can't compare it with Shopify's top-notch features. And speaking of features, let's talk about the customization feature of Shopify. To do this, simply go to themes on online store. Once you go to themes, it will show you all of the available themes. Shopify has a huge variety of themes, free and paid ones, and it's impossible not to find a theme that wouldn't match the vibe you're looking for in your website because of the huge selection. Definitely pick a theme that resonates with your website. While building your website, you can add or remove certain sections like the store name, description, header, images, and more. You can set up your website in a very captivating way. Its AI tools are also extremely helpful when you need some assistance. So if you want to customize your website, you can always just go ahead, customize, and for any changes you want to make, the Shopify website editor is simple to use. Just click on the element that you want to change and on the left panel, the change section will appear. From here, I can customize my headings. If I want to customize images, I can click on the image and on the left panel, I can click on edit to edit my image. Removal of sections is as easy as a click simply by hovering your cursor above the section and then clicking on the trash icon to delete any unnecessary sections present within any themes. Now there are amazing drag and drop tools available on Shopify as well. So you can easily click on add block and add a new block within every template section. Now, once you have built your personalized theme, you can go on ahead and even customize the menu. To do that, you can just click on exit and on your Shopify dashboard, click on navigation on the left, then click on main menu. Once you do that, you can hold any menu item and move them as you go. This can be extremely beneficial when you're trying to promote a certain new collection or a certain new product. You can move it to the hierarchy or to the top of your menu, which can help you in getting more clicks to your new collection. There are over 20,000 stock images available for free on Shopify, and you can switch between the desktop and mobile version as you are editing your Shopify store for further customization. You can easily switch between the two and further optimize your site, and you can also view it in full screen as you edit. Shopify caters to the needs of all, from beginners to experts, so this means that it's a universal platform for all. You don't need to be tech savvy to build a great website. This means that there is no maintenance that is required for your Shopify store. You mainly just need to add your content and customize your website once. It even has an AI assistant to help you with product descriptions. You can easily go into your product descriptions by going into product, and then once you open up your desired product, you will see a generate text icon. On the top, you have these two stars. Just click on this and you can add the key features of the product. So I will enter the key features of this particular product. Then click on generate over here. And once you do that, the AI will create a description for you. And you can now insert that description into your Shopify store. Now, if you want to monitor your analytics, Simply go into analytics on the left panel. Once you do that, you will get a overview of your dashboard. From here, you can monitor your website visitors, total sales, returning customer rate, as well as your average order value. You can customize this further by comparing it to different levels of your website, such as a particular time period. You can also click on customize on the top right to choose what type of metrics you want, such as maybe the product variance by gross sales, if you want to see the visitors you have, so let's say I want to view that at top, at the top. Then I also want to see my checkout conversion at the top. And I can choose the certain metrics that are most important to me at a particular stage of my Shopify store. Then click on save and you have a new dashboard. And because Shopify caters to all types of businesses, big or small, you have the option to start with the basic plan and scale up to bigger plans as your business grows. If you take a look at the pricing of Shopify, it starts at $19 at the basic plan. It includes a 2% charge on your third-party payment providers. Then it also has some amazing standout features like 10 inventory locations that can be supported, a point-of-sale system, and local 
global selling to up to three markets. Plus you also get 24 seven chat support with Shopify. Then you also have their Shopify plan, advanced and plus plan accordingly to which you can expand your business. For most starter businesses, I recommend going for the basic plan because it has all of the basic features that you would require for Shopify. In conclusion, mastering SEO techniques for your Shopify store is crucial for driving organic traffic and ultimately boosting sales. By implementing effective keyword research, optimizing page elements, and focusing on mobile responsiveness, you can improve your store's visibility and accessibility to potential customers. Additionally, creating valuable content and building high-quality backlinks further enhances your store's credibility and authority in your niche. Remember that SEO is an ongoing process requiring continuous monitoring and adaptation to stay ahead of the competition. Once again, if you want to sign up on Shopify and claim a huge discount and bonus, head on over to the description down below. You can get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on Shopify for the first month. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you build your Shopify store. Make sure you go on ahead and leave a like and then I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day ahead.